Hey y'all, I'm Patrick Haggerty with ROI Training. And in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about how Google Cloud audit logs, specifically data access logs, can be used to track file changes in cloud storage. Now, I have a file I use just as a place to collect useful links for Google Cloud. You can find this file over at roi-links.com slash gcp-links. And in it, there's a data section where you'll find a series of links on cloud storage for general cloud storage. Today, I want to actually go down to the operations section where you'll find some links on logging. And if you look at my logging links, I actually have a link right there to cloud audit logs. Cloud audit logs are a group of logs inside Google Cloud that can be used to track configuration changes, et cetera. Okay? Um, this is usually who did something in the cloud, who built that virtual machine, who built that bucket, that kind of thing. Well, in today's video, I want to answer the question, who uploaded that file? Who deleted that file? Now, those types of access uh, logging is actually part of data access logs. Data access logs contain API calls that read the configuration uh, or metadata of resources, as well as user-driven API calls that create, modify, or read user-provided resource data. That would encompass things like files in cloud storage. Right. Now, one of the interesting things about data access logs is with the exception of data access logs related to BigQuery, they are disabled by default. If I want to know who ran that $5,000 query in BigQuery, that data access log exists. But if I want to know who just deleted those 100 files in cloud storage, that is not something that's logged by default. I need to enable it. The upside of enabling it, of course, is that I get to record those sorts of changes. But this is a chargeable expense. So you will be paying once you get logging to a certain level for those logs. Go look at my links file, and in the pricing section, I have a link to costs related to operation suite, including logging. Okay, look, so let's see this logging at work. If I go into a test project here, and I go down to my Logs Explorer. The Logs Explorer is where I can access the various logs inside Google Cloud. If you go here to Log Name, you'll see that in your log names, um, the log files that show up are log files that contain data, right? Now, I don't have any data access logs enabled. So in this project, I don't have any logs that have been added to the data access log file, right? Since there's no data there, it doesn't exist. Okay, so if I go to cloud storage, right? If I go to cloud storage and I, let's say, build a new bucket. Okay, let me do create bucket. And I'm gonna say, this is my video demo bucket. Okay, uh, I'm going to make it a regional. Let's put it in U.S. Central one. Iowa sounds good. Standard storage class, uniform permissions. All that sounds good. There's my new bucket. Okay, now into my new bucket, I want to upload a file. Okay, so let me go ahead and go to my files here. Um, I'll go out here and go find a PDF maybe, and let me go ahead and drag and drop that PDF. So I uploaded a file. Okay, I did upload a file, but again, uploading that file won't be something that gets recorded. So if I go to my uh, audit logs, let me go down here to logging, let me go down here to logging. And if I go look at my logs, notice, um, again, there's no data access audit log. Yeah, okay. You're not going to get a data access log because I haven't done any data access. And let me go ahead and refresh that page. And let me go to my logs. Notice 
there is an audit log that showed up for admin activity. That is one of the audit logs, but that's not, that's not the data access log. Admin activity log, if I look at it, let me run that query, it will show me any admin activity actions that have occurred. Admin activity is where things, uh, you're actually making changes to the cloud configurations. So for example, in this case, you can see that me, under my credential, I went into cloud storage and I just created a new bucket named video demo bucket, right? Aha, uh -huh. okay, so um, that's one type of audit log, but that's admin activity, that's configuration changes. Nothing was generated when I uploaded that file. I gotta turn that off. To enable data access logs for uh, cloud storage, it's actually over here in the I am admin section you'll see that there is an audit logs subsection. You don't view your audit logs there. That really is your data access logs. So if I go to I am audit logs, it'll say these are all the optional audit logs that can be turned on. None of them are on right now. If I come in here and go search for cloud storage, I can tick the checkbox next to cloud storage and it says, what kind of logs would you like to record, all right? Data read, data write. Okay, so data read would show me every single time someone views, say, files in cloud storage, that would be a read operation. Every time someone writes a file in cloud storage, that would be a write operation. Admin read, admin write, that's a little different. That would be more like an automated system that side Google is doing something, right? Uh, uh, and recording those. I, I, I'm not interested in that. I'm really interested in my data reads, data writes. Notice I can also exempt certain users. If I had an automated system that was reading and writing files and I wanted to not record or log those, but I did want to log human being access, I could exempt my automated service account, for example. So let me go ahead and save that. Notice data read, data write is now enabled. There are no exemptions. So if I look at my list of audit logs, again, most of my systems still have audit logs turned off. But, you know, if I scroll through here, I can go find, oh, there we go. I do have audit log turning on, turned on for cloud storage. So now let me go back to my storage bucket. Let me go back to my storage bucket. All right, there's my video demo bucket. Once again, let me go ahead and grab my files. I'm gonna upload a different file here this time. Ah, that did not work correctly. Let me try that again. Let me upload a different file. Yeah, drag it from this other monitor over here. There we go upload my second file. There we go, my second file showed up. Now, if I go out there and look at my audit logs again, let me go to logging. Let me go over here to my log name. Let me go down to that cloud audit. Notice right now it's just showing the admin activity that hadn't shown data access yet. Okay, it's building that new log, so it might take a second. Let me go ahead and refresh the page. Remember what I said, if a log file doesn't have any data in it, it won't show up, right? Uh, there we go. There's my data access log. Let me see the data access log. Now, interestingly, interestingly enough, do you see there's the create operation? That's where I actually uploaded. You see right there where I uploaded that PDF, the Chapter 6 Resource Management PDF. That's where I uploaded it. But you see there's also the list operation. Yeah, there's a list operation because what did I do? Uh, I pulled up the page showing all the files. That's actually a list operation. Uh huh. So I'm not just seeing write operations, I'm seeing read operations. All right, good. So using the data access log to view changes in cloud storage. I'm Patrick Haggerty with ROI Training, and I hope you've enjoyed this video.